Hey y'all. So I used to serve something called a chicken bacon ranch sub when I was at the Dallas Farmer's Market. Obviously, you know, you've heard of that before from Subway. Let me just let you know right now, mine is better. And I'm about to show you how to make it, okay? Chicken bacon ranch is exactly what it sounds like. It consists of vegan chicken, vegan bacon, all tossed up in some vegan ranch. And you add, you know, you melted cheese. I add spinach because I feel like that's just a lot of commotion going on and you have to add some greenery in there. When I said greenery, I know what you was thinking. I know. And you put it on a toasted bun. So what I like to do is, to, I, let me just get to it. Dang, I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all what I do. Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you what you're gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need a skillet, and I like to go ahead and preheat my skillet. And then you're gonna need any plant-based chicken that you want. It could be soy curls, a vegan brand you like, tofu. It could be mushrooms, honestly. Whatever you wanna use, that's your plant-based chicken. And then you're gonna need chopped onions or sliced onions. You're gonna need your vegan bacon of choice. The one that I use for this particular meal is the Meet the Mushroom Bacon. I was doing a collaboration with them, so I decided to use it for this video. So, holla. Shout out to my girl, Destiny, because she actually works for them. So, I love you, boo. And you're also gonna need vegan mayo, a compound butter. Obviously, you're gonna need your bread. Y'all know I got these big kids, I gotta feed. And I wasn't about to be making all these little sandwiches. So I just got two giant French bread from the bakery. Make sure it's vegan. It's probably gonna say that it was processed in a facility that also processes eggs, milk, and dairy. It is what it is, y'all. I'm a vegan living in a non-vegan world. That's totally up to you if you wanna use it or not. As long as it doesn't say it has those ingredients in the actual bread, I'm good. And I also told y'all I wanted to add some spinach. So I went ahead and chopped up my spinach as well. So you're gonna need chopped spinach, vegan chicken, vegan bacon, vegan mayo, compound butter, and your French bread, and your spices. Yeah. So in a heated skillet, you are going to add the oil of your choice, and then your vegan chicken, and then you're gonna cook that through a little bit, and then you're gonna add in your spices and seasonings that you choose to use, and then you're gonna cook that through some more. After your chicken starts to kinda like brown a little bit. I'm not gonna say chicken because y'all be extra. I can't say chicken. Cause y'all be y'all, this not chicken. If it's bacon, how is it chicken? You know what I mean. So after your plant-based substitute is starting to brown and become fragrant, cause by this time y'all are smelling everything. You're gonna add in your sliced onions and then you're gonna cook that through really good until it gets all brown and stuff. And then I like to go ahead and put it in the oven while I prep my bacon, okay? Bacon. So all I do is get a little bit of oil in the pan, the same pan that I cooked the vegan chicken in, and then I add in my bacon. And then I just crisp up both sides really well until it's like to my liking. Cause some of y'all don't like crispy bacon, which is, I'm not gonna say you weird, but it's, it's a little concerning because if you're having bacon, you wanna be a little crispy, you know? So after I get the bacon to the doneness that I want crispy, I'll go ahead and cut it up and I mix it in with the chicken. Then add in a spicy ranch, because I wanted this one to be spicy. Yours don't have to be spicy if you don't want it to be. But if you do want a good vegan ranch and you want to make it at home, I do have a vegan ranch recipe. I have a video on here and I'll tag it somewhere for you to click and watch it later. But this version is a spicy version. So, but after you add in your spicy ranch, mix it in really well, get everything, all that bacon and vegan chicken coated completely. And then you're gonna sprinkle it with your favorite cheese, plant-based cheese, okay? You're gonna put that back in the oven covered. You can use a silicone mat like I use, or you can use foil, whatever you wanna use. And I put it in the oven on 350 and I just let that cheese melt. And then after that, I go ahead and get my bread cut open, cause I like to cut it myself. It make me feel a little fancy when I cut the bread myself. Cause I'm the chef. 
Chef, I'm just a mama. So you cut your bread open and then you spread your compound butter on one side and your vegan mayo on the other side. And then you put that in the oven as well. At that point, the vegan chicken and bacon ranch mixture is on the bottom rack. And then I put the bread on the top rack and I put it on broil. I uncover the chicken on the bottom, help that cheese melt all the way through while your bread is toasting. Cause at this point y'all, we running out of time. It's Look, it's taking too long. It's taking too long, we run out of time. We want to kill, not kill two birds with one stone. I hate that phrase, it's messed up. And I still be saying it cause I'm conditioned, I'm programmed to say that. And poor birds, who came up with that? Who want to do that? Oh, I got makeup on. Okay, leave it in the comments. What I can say instead of two birds with one stone. Oh, it's so dark. <laughs> okay, so after you toast your bread to your liking, if you want a crispier, light or whatever, but it does need to get toasted because it's just thick bread otherwise. And you can also take out some of the filling as well if you don't want all the bread in there. Cause this is not, this is not one of the healthiest meals, honey. It's not. And if you're looking for that, you need to go somewhere else right now. Cause that's not what this is about. You do not have to use French bread if you don't want to. You can use any type of bread you want. Gluten-free bread, tortilla, pita bread, shoot, sandwich bread, if that's all you got. I mean, you sometimes you got to use what you got to get what you want. <laughs> so after your bread is toasted to your liking, then you're gonna add in your um, sliced spinach and you're gonna spread it along your bread and then you're gonna add in your plant-based chicken bacon ranch mixture. And y'all, it, it was good. The cheese was cheesing. It was just like dripping off the side. And after you add your cheesy chicken bacon ranch mixture, you just close your sub. Just close your sandwich up, cut it up to the portions you want. I mean, if you go eat that whole sandwich by yourself, I ain't gonna judge you. I might judge you a little bit because that's a big ass sandwich. But y'all, that's it. You can eat it alone or you can have chips, you can have fries, you can have a soup with it, salad. But if you try it, I wanna know. Let me know what you think, because I know it's good. My children were making noises in the background. Mama, y'all knew you loved us. My husband came back in five minutes. But guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload videos. Is you gonna make this and then I say, better subscribe to my I'll find you. You naked. Y'all still be doing that? Oh my gosh, you fine. Okay, little fine apple. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. I'm so happy to be back. I've missed you guys so much. I love the feedback that I'm getting. And yeah, drop them suggestions below. If you wanna see me make something else that you miss, from your non-vegan days, but you want me to veganize it, I got you. I let your girl, I got you. But I'll talk to y'all later, bye. Where the sandwich? We got another one. Where's the sandwich?